Hi and welcome to the best of IP Mad series. Question of the day today is a question from time, speed and distance. Classic question on trains, relative speed and, and everything. Okay, uh, so pause the video for a while, give your best shot and then let's see the solution. Hello everyone. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, then join our zero fee pep program that will give you access to concept videos, sectional test and full length mock test and many more for free. To avail this, please click on the link mentioned under the description box below. Happy learning. Okay, so starting with the solution, you know that the first train left at 12 and the second train left at 2 p.m. Okay, so let's say T1 left at 12 noon, okay, and T2 left at 2 p.m. Great. Uh, it overtook the first train at 8 p.m., which means the train 2 travelled for 6 hours, correct? So, the train 2, the time taken by the second train is 6 hours, time taken by the first train therefore has to be 8 hours because it started at, uh, at 12 noon and it, they met at 8 o'clock. So, the ratio of their times is 8 is to 6 or 4 is to 3. If the ratio of their times is 4 is to 3, ratio of their speeds will be 3 is to 4. Correct. So, I can say S1 upon S2 is equal to 3 upon 4. Now, moving ahead, we know that the sum of the speed of the two trains is 140. This makes our life simple. We know S1 and S2 will add up to be 7x and that 7x is equal to 140. So, x has to be 20 and therefore, the actual speeds is going to be 60 kilometers per hour and 80 kilometers per hour. Great. Okay. So, we know that also. Now, what they have asked, then at what time the second train overtake the first train, if instead the second train had started from point A in the same direction, 5 hours after the first train, which means the first train is still starting at 12 o'clock. The second train now not start, does not start at 2, but starts at 5. So, when the second train, when the second train starts at 5, the relative distance between them will be the distance travelled by the first train in those 5 hours, correct. Now, we know the speed of the first train is 60. Therefore, in the 5 hours when T1 is travelling alone, it must have covered how many? It must have covered 300 kilometers. Now, 300 kilometers relative distance is always covered in relative speed. Remember, relative distance is always covered by relative speed. Two objects moving in the same direction, the relative speed is subtraction of the two speeds. So, it is 80 minus 60, 20. Okay, so, uh, this gives me 15 hours. So, had the second train started 5 hours later, it would have taken 15 hours to meet, 15 hours after the second train, which means 15 hours after 5 pm. So, from 5 pm to the next day 5 am, it is 12 hours, right? And plus 3, okay? So, 5 am plus 3 is 8 am. So, the train would have met the first train at 8 am the next day. So, that is your answer, third option, 8 am the next day. Now, understand that this train started, so initially in the first case, the train had started 2 hours after the first train, correct? And they met after 6 hours, after the train 2 travelled for 6 hours. It started at 2 pm and they met at 8 pm. So, when the train uh, starting difference is 2 hours, it took 6 hours. In this case, in the second case, the starting difference was 5 hours. First train started at 12 noon, second at 5 pm and the distance and the time that they are taking to meet each other is 15. That is the pattern that we can observe. So, the next time you see such a question, okay, had they now asked us that if the second train had started, let us say 7 hours after it, ideally you would not, you should not have calculated. You should directly say that if it is starting 7 hours after the first train, it will take 21 hours to reach the first train. Okay. So, anyway, so answer is 8 a.m. the next day. So, I hope this question was clear and I really hope that you get your replica question also correct and do not forget to put your answer in the comments. And till next time, happy learning and see you.